Hi ladies and gentlemen, in the previous videos we discussed the application of multiplexer that is about multiplexing as uh, many signals uh, uh, to transmit through one line or one communication channel. We discussed the time division multiplexing and all that. Now in this video we see another important application of, uh, application of multiplexer that is for implementation of logic. Uh, in the previous sessions we have understood the sum of product expressions. So, so multiplexers can be effectively efficiently used for uh, implementing an SOP expression. So uh, le let me start with that presentation. So this uh, uh, speech is organized into your learning outcomes, then a three variable function with 80 to 1 max and a four variable function um, with the 80 to 1 max, then your summary of understanding. So what you will learn in this video is that you will learn to implement a three variable logic function uh, using 80 to 1 max and test it in QCs. So uh, what that says is suppose I have a function f in a, say a comma b comma c uh, that's a function in three variables I can implement it with a 8 is to 1 multiplexer. The idea is uh, I can apply that a b c functions to the three select lines s2 s1 s0 and I can implement the logic function. So at the output y I will have the logic function. Then you will learn to implement a four variable logic function using 8 is to 1 max and test it in cubes. Now, uh, 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 the second uh, part says uh, you will learn to implement a four variable logic function. Say, suppose I have a function and say A, B, C, D. Uh, now, uh, what I can do is, uh, uh, but I am using an 8 is to 1 max. So, naturally, you may think that you may need a 16 is to 1 max, but I can uh, do with a, an 8 is to 1 max also. So, what I do is I give uh, the uh, most significant bit, say A, B, C to the select lines and uh, the least significant uh, bit D to the information lines or the data lines. Okay. So, this we will understand. Uh, the equation, the output equation of a multiplexer is y equal to sigma m k i k, where m k is the uh, kth min time. Like uh, say, if it is uh, k equal to zero, it is s two bar, s two bar, s two bar, s one bar, s zero bar, corresponding to zero 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 i k. Or if it is a uh, one, uh, if it is uh, uh, say k uh, is a nine, seven. Uh, see the last one. Uh, uh, then then m k is uh, s three, s two, s one. Uh, sorry, S2, S1, S0, S2, S1, S0, that corresponds to 1, 1, 1 pattern. So that multiplied by that ended with uh, uh, I7. Okay, this is my expression. Now, if these IK values are some selected IK values are held at say logic 1 and the others are kept at 0, then uh, this, this will become K for some given uh, uh, Okay, IK values are 1, then this is sigma MK. Like say if I want, uh, I want to realize a function say uh, S2 bar, S1 bar, S0 bar, that is the 0 to min time. If I want to uh, implement that alone, what I can do is I can make I0 equal to 1 and all other i's, i from 1 to say 7, I make it as 0 so that uh, what I get at the output is uh, M0. Okay m0 say suppose i want to have the function say m0 or m3 okay m0 or m3 that is uh, uh, a, a, a s2 bar s1 bar s0 bar or uh, s2 bar s1 s0 that is m m3 m3 is uh, 0 1 1 okay suppose i need m0 or m3 what i have to do is i should make i0 and i3 equal to 1 okay and all other ik values to be zero so that i get uh, m m1 m0 or m3 i make i0 equal to 1 i3 equal to 1 so that uh, all other i values uh, should be held at zero so that uh, this y will be m0 or m3 m0 or m3 suppose i have uh, suppose uh, let us look at this logic function f a b c that is equal to sigma m1347 that is m1 or m3 or m4 or m7 
uh, in the earlier case you, you would go for a kind of map solution and implement with gates but here you can have a very convenient implementation with an 80 to 1 multiplexer because uh, mm, there it is up to 0 to 7 value so this needs uh, three select lines so I have to go for an 80 to 1 multiplexer but what I have to do is I have to make i1 equal to i3 equal to i4 equal to i7 equal to 1 okay when I make uh, i3 i1 equal to i3 equal to i4 equal to i7 equal to 1 and other all other i values like i0 equal to i2 equal to i5 equal to 0 then by equation number 1 this will be m1 or m3 this y will be m1 or m3 or m4 or m7 okay so how do I implement this you can look into this diagram what I need is I have to make i1 uh, 1 3 4 7 should be 1 so I am taking 80 to 1 multiplexer I take an 80 to 1 multiplexer like 74151 or something and I make uh, uh, I connect this ABC lines to this A is the uh, MSB and C is the LSB so I give A to the S2 pin B to the S1 pin and C to the S0 pin and here I have to make this I0 I2 I5 and I7 I6 equal to 0 and uh, make I1 I3 I4 I7 these data lines I have to connect to logic 1 all other data lines I have to connect to logic 0 and the enable should be this L enable low so that should also be connected to logic 0 then I apply the different patterns ABC from 0 0 0 to 1 1 1 at this uh, uh, ports and uh, you can observe the function at the output so you can see this uh, you can observe this implementation in QX Yeah, this is uh, one such implementation here uh, I have given these are the select lines okay these are the select lines the enable is kept at uh, logic 0 and uh, what are these values 1 4 it is 1 3 4 7 okay so uh, I have this one these things are held at uh, this uh, one this is 0 1 three four seven these data lines are kept at high and this zero two four uh, uh, zero two oh, five six they are kept at uh, logic zero and so is the enable okay then at abc i give these uh, signals with uh, this a uh, one nanosecond one nanosecond this is the lsbc is the lsb i keep it as a uh, i keep it uh, low for one nanosecond and high for one nanosecond then uh, the second bit uh, that is uh, uh, next bit that is a uh, uh, 2 nanosecond 2 nanosecond pulse and this is the MSB uh, that's a 4 nanosecond 4 nanosecond so here I give the ABC so based on these values uh, uh, for uh, this M0 uh, uh, for this output truth table will we will check this uh, truth table by running this simulation Now uh, forget about this uh, timing diagram. I will look into this uh, truth table. Yeah, here uh, uh, what wh 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 did we design for? Uh, it is for one three four seven. It should be a one. So if you look here, one three four seven. This is zero zero one one three then 4 and 7 this is a 1 then it is a repetition of the same thing all for all other patterns the value is a 0 for 1 0 0 1 0 1 1 3 then 1 0 0 4 and uh, 1 1 1 7 for all these values uh, the output is a 1 otherwise it is a 0 so effectively I have implemented the uh, logic function with an 80, a 3 variable uh, logic function with the 80 to 1 multiplexer so you can do this in the lab also you can use a 74151 and you can do that or you can simulate it in cubes now the next question is uh, uh, how do i uh, 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 do a four variable function with the uh, 80 to 1 max okay so naturally you may think that uh, uh, for a four variable function either you can implement with a 16 is to 1 max because there are four select lines but here I am using a different method I am partitioning the truth table and I am applying the 
least significant uh, variable uh, to the data lines also here all the data lines are in the previous design all the data lines are kept at either a logic one or logic zero now i am thinking about the possibility of adding a d also to this uh, data lines d or d complement to this data line so that i can implement a four variable uh, function with uh, an 8 is to 1 max so what i do is i uh, uh, I need to partition the truth table a little. So let us consider this logic function, say f a b c d, that is equal to m1, m sigma m1, 4, 9, 12, 14. These are 14, 12, etc. are 4 bit words. So this is a 4 variable function m1 or m4 or m9 or m12 or m14. Okay, this is a 4 variable uh, function. So how do I implement with uh, an 8 is to 1 multiplexer? So what I can do is first I will write this truth table. Uh, this is uh, where, where are these things coming to one? It is one four nine twelve fourteen. This is one four nine twelve and fourteen. It is one. Now look at this truth table. These are zero 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 one zero zero one zero to one 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 one. Where is it going to one four one zero 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 one one three? Five one three four one three four. Uh, no, no, no. I'm sorry. One four. Okay, it is one four, one four nine twelve fourteen. One uh, four nine one zero zero one nine twelve and fourteen. So here it is. Uh, these values it is one. It, uh, otherwise it is a zero. Now what I can do is I partition the truth table by writing a line here. Okay by right, uh, drawing a line like this I partition the truth table uh, around this uh, least significant variable D okay then here if you look into these uh, two rows you can see that this is for ABC is 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 here ABC equal to 0 0 0 and D equal to 0 and 1 now if you look into this right column here 0 1 it is 0 1 here D is also 0 1 so I can conveniently say Y is equal to D here okay because if you closely watch uh, this truth table after partitioning uh, I partition by this uh, uh, column and uh, by these a uh, couple of, uh, of rows okay now if you look here uh, if you look compare this y and d here this is for abc is 0 0 0 and here if you say here y equal to 0 and uh, d equal to 1 y equal to 1 so this is this y for this uh, column for these two rows y is the same as d so for abc is 0 0 0 y is d okay that i can write as another table that is a b c 0 0 0 y is d now let us look at the next uh, couple of rows uh, for which a b c is 0 0 1 so here it is 0 0 1 and d is 0 1 and y is 0 0 now irrespective of this uh, d this y value of y for these two cases is a 0 so i can safely say y equal to 0 4 0 0 1 a b c equal to 0 0 1 y is equal to 0 so i write here for a b c equal to 0 0 1 y equal to 0 and let us look at this case 0 1 0 0 1 0 it is uh, d is 0 1 and y is uh, 1 0 you can see that y is uh, for this row for the case a b c is 0 1 0 y is d complement y is d complement for 0 1 0 y is d complement now let us look at 0 1 1 case here uh, 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 d is 0 and 1 and uh, this is 0 0 which means that uh, y is 0 4 0 1 1 y is 0 4 0 1 1 now if you come to 1 0 0 it is uh, uh, d is 0 1 and y is 0 1 so it is d 1 0 0 it is d then 1 0 1 it is 0 1 and uh, d y is 0 0 so y is equal to 0 4 1 0 1 1 0 1 okay here uh, for 1 1 0 it is uh, d uh, is equal to y complement or y is d complement for 1 1 0 y is uh, d complement and for 1 1 1 it is again d complement it is 0 1 and d is 1 0 uh, y is uh, 1 0 and d is 0 1 so y is equal to d complement for 1 1 1 so i can write a, a truth table as a three variable truth table now with a b c uh, 0 0 0 y is d with a b c 0 0 1 y equal to 0 0 1 0 d bar and 0 1 1 it is 0 1 0 0 d 1 0 1 0 1 1 0 d bar 1 1 1 d bar now I can uh, implement uh, this as a circuit so that uh, uh, that circuit will look like this 
Now I apply my ABC, the least, uh, the most significant bits ABC to my select lines of the 80s to 1 multiplexer. And these things are applied to when uh, uh, this, uh, when it is 0, 0, 0, Y should be D. So that uh, D should go to my I0 line, 0 should go to my I1 line, D bar should go to my I2 line that way. So here these connections are there. This is uh, D, uh, I0 is D and I1 is 0, I1 is connected to 0 and uh, uh, I2, uh, I, I2 should be D complement. So what is, which is D complement? This is uh, D complement. Okay. And I3 is 0. I3 is 0. I4 is a D. I4 is a D. I5 is a I5 is a 0, then I6 is a D bar, I6 is a D bar, I7 is a D bar, I7 is a D bar, okay. So this way I can uh, implement a four variable logic function using a, an 8 is to 1 multiplexer. Okay, here what I do is I give uh, the least significant variable to the data lines and the most significant variables to the select lines. Now I can uh, run this simulation. Now here you can see that uh, what was my function? My function was 1, 4, 9, 12, 14. That is 1. When it is 0, 0, 0, 1, that is 1. It is 1. Output is 1. Then 4, that is a 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 4. Then there is 9, 1, 0, 0, 1, it is a 1. Then a 12, that is 1, 1, 0, 0 then everywhere else it is a 0 then 14 14 should be 1100 that is a 12 then 1110 is 14 so then after 1111 this cycle repeats so you can see that uh, the logic function is implemented correctly with the 8 is to 1 multiplexer okay you can do similar simulations uh, at home and uh, in lab also you can connect uh, with a 74151 and uh, you can uh, appreciate the output So you have observed this simulation, you have understood the partitioning of the truth table and uh, the way I implement a four variable logic function with the 8 is to 1 multiplexer. Now what you learned in this session are you learned to implement a three variable logic function using 8 is to 1 multiplexer and you tested it in cubes. So what we do is I give these three variables A, B, C to the three select lines S2, S1, S0 and uh, these uh, data input lines uh, are kept at either a logic high or logic low depending on which function you want to implement. And then you understood to you learn to implement a four variable logic function using 8 is to 1 max and tested it in Q. So what I do here is there are four variables A, B, C, D. So D is the least significant variable. So I partition the truth table around D and uh, uh, I uh, put this Y as a function, the output as a function of D. So that uh, uh, the least, uh, uh, the most significant uh, variables A, B, C appear at the select lines and uh, uh, D, uh, that is my least significant one, that uh, D or D complement appears at the uh, data lines. So uh, this is how you implement a four variable function using 8s1 multiplexer. And that is the end of this presentation. I thank you all.